So like a lot of problems in mental health, there is no one fit size fits all when it comes to treating seasonal affective disorder. Um, there is psychotherapy, which I definitely encourage because talk therapy is invaluable when it comes to mental health issues. Talking to a therapist about recognizing the patterns of your negative thinking and your negative behaviors really gives you a chance to kind of challenge them with positive thinking and positive behaviors as well as maybe adding some relaxation techniques to really regain that lost energy. Medications are very effective for seasonal affective disorder, however, they do take some time to take effect. So I definitely want you to consult with your mental health provider or talk to your doctor about treating seasonal affective disorder. And a go-to treatment for seasonal affective disorder includes a light box, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about. There are specific ways to utilizing the light box for how long you should be using it and at what light intensity. So before you go out and purchase anything on the internet, make sure you consult with your doctor. Things that you could do on your own before you get into seeing your doctor is kind of recognizing these patterns and jotting them down as if you're jotting them down in a journal so you know how to talk to your doctor about it with very specific examples and your behaviors and your mood. Other ways you, I would encourage you to helping yourself out as, as well as any loved ones that you notice are struggling with these kind of symptoms at this time of the year is trying to get outside, getting a walk in, being in the sunlight, exercising regularly, trying to have a buddy schedule when it comes to eating healthy diet. Also, finding ways to re reduce our stress as much as possible. You know, a lot of times at this, at this time of the year when you don't want to go out and do anything, I encourage this idea called behavior activation, which is, you know, our bodies can do anything if we know that we could stop doing it in 15 minutes. So go ahead and put that alarm on and start doing something that you actually want to do. And then after 15 minutes when the alarm goes off, you'll either notice like, hey, this isn't so bad, I could keep going, or this is horrible, I don't wanna deal with it anymore, at least you got 15 minutes under your belt.